Hello, Namaste, Salam Walekum, Sastriya Kal. Welcome back to another session with your washer at whatever.com. Today, we're going to learn cheese and garbanzo kebab. We're going to shallow fry it and it's going to be tasty. Kids will just love it. Just make it for children's day and make your children happy. Now, first I'm going to show you how to do the outer coating of this kebab. Outside is going to be the nice powerful chana dal which has been soaked and boiled with little bit salt. So this we are going to put in a blender and we are going to make it into a nice powdery kind of thing. If you add little water it will become a paste. But first we are going to make it powdery. That's when we are going to cover this into our cheese. So here is kala chana that is the deshi garbanzo we are going to put in a blender. And now we are going to add some garlic. Now in this we are going to add some ginger chopped green chilies and mint now you know you want this to be nice and light you know when we make falafel we add lot of coriander the same technique we're going to use here we're going to add lot of coriander into this bowl now in this we're going to add you know the nice flavor for our chana by adding a little bit of chana masala just you know add chana masala to this if you buy the store bought one also this will give a very nice aroma to your kebabs now in this we're going to add some chaat masala because we already added some salt in the chana while boiling so you don't need to add any salt but you know after you blend it if you want you can add a little bit salt now we have put it in the blender and once you run the blender this will become like a nice powdery but you will be able to make this into a kebab if you want you can add little bit water that will make it hold this into a nice shape so first we're going to take it in a bowl now you know after adding little bit water if you think this is not binding well you can also add little bit of roasted chana dal powder or even you can add little bit of all purpose flour into this mixture that will help it bind very nicely so i'm going to keep this on the side and now i'm going to make the cheese stuffing for this so first we are going to taste this mixture good now the stuffing is going to be very very simple we are going to take paneer that is the cottage cheese so we are going to make double cheese into this so in this i am going to add regular melting cheese whether you can add mozzarella or any kind of cheese into this now in this we are going to add mozzarella or any melting cheese so this cheese when added together it will slightly melt and inside the kebab will be soft and juicy that's what will make this very very special in this we are also going to add some chili flakes and this is what we are going to add as a stuffing you know we have this uh, paneer that is mixed with mozzarella just make them into little dumpling and this is what we are going to stuff inside our kebabs okay just make in this so now we will do the same thing with our chana mixture also so we are going to divide them into equal portions that we are going to stuff this white cheese dumpling into this chana mixture so first just divide them into equal portions now you know just I don't know why I am explaining all this all you have to do is take this cheese stuffing and stuff it inside after this we are going to make this into a nice kebab shape okay look at this just we want the nice chana dal coating on top after you make this into a dumpling we are going to slowly press it and then we are going to shape it into a nice kebab okay so first just make this little bit flat like this after that take help of the table and rotate it like this and then make it flat when you rotate it like this these ones will become nice and round they won't be odd shaped so look at this both sides do it like this and take it in another plate and keep it ready okay look at this so i'm going to make the rest of the kebabs now you can cook these kebabs on a tawa by adding little bit butter or else you can also shallow fry in oil so dear friends whichever one you prefer you can make it but i prefer shallow fry you know because everybody is complaining that i have lost lot of weight i am king thin <laughs> so dear friends so let's go ahead and uh, cook this if you want to do it shallow fry you can directly put it on a tawa and cook but if you want to do shallow fry i'm going to coat it with the bread crumb and cook i'm telling you this way it tastes lot better 
kids will just love it. So first, I'm just going to, you know, roll this in the flour so that if there is any little moisture on the outside, this will be absorbed. And then I'm going to dip it in the egg, okay, like this. After dipping it in the egg, I'm just going to put it in the breadcrumb and coat it. So I'm just going to do some uh, shallow fry and some in the tawa method, okay. So now here I've got my breadcrumb coated kebab ready. See the advantages of coating this breadcrumb is if you are shallow frying it, if you put these kebabs directly, they may break and absorb oil. But once you coat it with the breadcrumb, it won't and they will come out nice and fine. So first it's better to just add few drops of oil and you can put your kebab on it. Okay, good and let it cook on a medium heat till this is nicely done and also you can shallow fry here I've got oil and we're going to shallow fry this and do not cook it in too hot now you know once you shallow fry look at them they are cooking much faster you know but watch out if the cheese is melting out and oozing you know they are just done but if you coat it nice no cheese will ooze out look at the color awesome color I know the ones we are cooking on the tawa you don't need a paper towel but whenever you fry these nice kebabs just get nice color and then we're going to take it onto a paper towel so that extra oil is taken away from this now look at this such a beautiful nice kebabs now look at this uh, shallow fried kebabs you know when you shallow fry you can have it with any sauce wow look at them you know look at them you know people may say healthy and all that but you decide which one you want to eat but i'm going to eat both of them because i love to enjoy all these awesome kebabs the charm and the beauty of these kebabs is the cheese inside you know when it is slightly hot just break open and you will see the cheese melting of course just dip it in any sauce you like whether it's a mayonnaise based sauce or even in tomato ketchup and you will thoroughly enjoy just melting in the mouth hmm. nice it's nice very nice with the ketchup make it for children's day as their special and serve these awesome kebabs but do not forget varava is all about inspiring others to cook so please post your recipes and cooking tips at varava.com so others can benefit from your great cooking